सो एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर फाइव सरलेज एक्सपेरिमेंट और एक्सपेरिमेंट टू डिटरमिन दंग्स मॉडुलस ऑफ अ मटेरियल सो दिस इज अ प्रिटी सिंपल एक्सपेरिमेंट दिस इज इट बेस्ड ऑन अ वेरी सिंपल प्रिंसिपल कॉड इज हुक्स लॉ वेर वी नो दैट स्ट्रेस अप्लाइड इज प्रपोर्शनल टू द स्ट्रेन ना इन दिस पर्टिकुलर एक्सपेरिमेंट द एपरेटस इज कॉल्ड एज एपरेटस यूजिंग विच यू मेजर Uh, all the values is called as Sirleys uh, Sirleys apparatus. Sirley was the name of the scientist who devised this setup to determine the small changes in the length due to the additional weight added to the wire. As you all know, when you add, when you stretch a wire, it its length changes a little, and that change in length is directly proportional to the force or the stress applied. so let's uh, first discuss the basic principle behind this which is more relevant for you as the exams in exam the question will be more based on the uh, this formula but uh, we should also know the basic somehow of the apparatus as well in this particular case in this particular experiment the apparatus is little bit you know complex it may seem confusing but the concept applied here is very simple so i think if you remember the formula which i discuss here you will be able, easily able to solve the problem even without knowing the apparatus so now let's discuss the principle the so principle is nothing but hooke's law so as you know in hooke's law we know stress applied is proportional to is equal to Young's modulus, which is we need to determine times strain. So when you write from here, Young's modulus will be equal to stress, which is force upon area cross section area of the wire upon strain, which is delta L by L. So now. be careful with uh, the exact result so if i write y this y will become f into l let me write this as capital l generally this capital l means the original length of the wire upon area of cross section this is pi r square so this area is the area of cross section which is circular in shape so that's why i am writing this a is pi r square where r is the radius of cross section so this radius of that thickness that diameter or the radius of that wire has to be measured in the experiment now this l this is small l which we write here is i have written this as capital l this is the initial length or original length of the wire original means initial length this has to be measured using the meter scale now this delta l is the change in length of wire when additional weight is applied is placed so basically what you do you keep adding the weights and every time you add a weight of mass m x whatever the length the change in length must be measured so remember this change in length corresponds to the additional weight applied let me assume that additional weight is m so if the additional weight is m then the the force will become due to this additional weight will become f can be taken as mg so here if i replace all the variables if you see it carefully the f first of all let me just rewrite the formula the y will be from here the y will be f into l divided by this is capital l divided by a delta l which becomes f will become mg 
m is the extra weight applied due to which the length of wire has changed into l is the original length upon the a area is the cross section of the wire which is pi r square and this delta l instead of delta we just write here l this is the change in length so generally if you see in the labor laboratory manuals this is the formula they give now what you need to understand this length is measured in centimeter using meter scale right this m will be given load added this is not measured this will be given to you right now this r is measured using screw gauge by measuring thickness of wire all right so don't forget that uh, this uh, this radius will give will be measured by using thickness so basically whenever there is a wire wire is like a cylinder so you measure the thickness of the wire this thickness is will give you the diameter or 2r so the thickness of the wire will be equal to 2r and from that r you can write this area and the last thing this l is measured change in length this is also very small so it has to be measured with some precise uh, instrument so for this we have another screw gauge another micrometer which is attached in the apparatus itself so don't get confused by the two screw gauges here because we use two screw gauges here one is the detached screw gauge one is the attached screw gauge so the thickness of wire is also measured by some screw gauge and the change in length is measured by the screw ga gauge which is fixed with the apparatus which is fixed with the surlace exper uh, apparatus experiment both are screw gauges because we need to measure both small things the thickness is also very small and the change in length is also very small so both are measured by two different screw gauges so generally we call this as micrometer attached to setup so there will be one micrometer which will be attached to the setup so simple the principle is just a stress upon a strain equal to young's modulus which is the hooke's law but the 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 things in the the physical quantities in it the forces the a the delta and l you must understand that mg is the extra weight added l is the original length measured using the scale this pi r square this r will be coming from the thickness 2r will be the thickness of the wire which can be measured which is measured using a uh, uh, screw gauge and then again there is a small l which was the change in length which will be measured by uh, again a screw, another screw gauge which is attached which is fixed with the uh, apparatus now before solving these questions let us try to understand the apparatus this is called as surlace apparatus now i to as i told you the apparatus this is difficult but let us try to understand so first of all you see there are not one wire there are two wires this is a wire p and this is a wire q both are initially at same level both are initially at same level both have same length l equal to l so from here to here this is wire p from here it is to wire q both have same length and you know at p wire i have attached a fixed weight and on uh, Q wire you can see I have attached these are called as coined weights because you can change the weight of these So each time I add a half kg or a kg, you know this the length of this wire will change So as the length of this wire will change what will happen try to understand As you change the length of this wire What will happen let me try to change it 
like this so what happens is uh, this wire goes down so you can see I have made this uh, this will be tilted slightly it will be tilted slightly like this now we reposition this this will be the measured this is the change in length which you call as L this change in length is measured using this screw gaze you, you have one more screw gaze over here let me redraw it again so that you are not confused as I told you the apparatus is not easy apparatus is a little bit difficult now try to understand as you add the weight this point goes down due to the increase in the length now what we do there is one more micrometer as you can see this green one is attached which is fixed in the instrument we adjust it we adjust it so that this tilt this point goes up and we adjust by rotating it this shifts shift, shifts up and we keep rotating it until we get the bubble the the horizontal level until we get the rod again at the same horizontal level so then the measurement of a small l or delta l is taken on this second micrometer so as you add the weight this goes down but you rebalance it to the same level by adjusting the the screw attached in this this apparatus from where here you can see there is a scale drawn from this scale you get the value of change in length and the thickness of the diameter or the radius or the cross section is determined by measuring the thickness of this wire which will give you 2R which is again measured by an another screw gaze which measures the thickness of this wire so remember alright so the length is measured using a uh, normal meter scale in the millimeter but the thickness is measured using a screw gaze and the change in length is measured using this apparatus which is another screw gaze attached with this apparatus which is called a micro so that is all for this experiment now let's do some problem so that you would know how to find m delta l l and all values and determine the value of young's modulus y 